Hello, my name is Alejandro, and today we're going to take a look at a unique type of mate called the Profile Center Mate. The Profile Center Mate automatically set or aligns geometric profiles to each other as well as fully defines the components. It essentially allows you to quickly mate two components together in the right position uh, with less amount of mates. So let's go ahead and activate our mate command. And our profile bait command is an advanced bait. And we're going to go ahead and activate it. And we're going to pick our two bait selections. So essentially, you can pick faces. Uh, you could pick also sketches. As well as you can pick edge geometry. And typically, the requirements are going to be you could pick circular uh, geometry. Or you could also pick uh, uh, any, any regular polygon shape geometry. So let's begin by first just picking faces. So if I go to select this bottom face from our hexagon and then I'll go ahead and pick this top rectangular face, you'll see what the result is. Essentially it adds a coincident mate and also centers both of our profiles uh, between each other so that they're right in the middle of each other. Within here, within this window, you could also add an offset so instead of that being coincident, essentially creating a distance mate. So maybe I want to make these three inches from each other. I can easily flip the alignment. And I'll go ahead and select OK. And you'll see here that now our hexagon shape is centered among our rectangular shape. If I undo the bait we just added, we go. We could go ahead and attempt to use instead of a a face. We could actually use a profile center bait. Uh, you we're using a sketch and a face. So I'll go ahead and activate my bait command. In the property manager. I'll go into the advanced mates pull down. I'll activate my profile mate and for my uh, mate selections. Instead of picking a face, you'll see that I can. Pick a, uh, I can also pick a reference sketch. So I'll pick this circular reference sketch. And then I'll go ahead and pick this square face once again. And you'll see that it will still allow me to center uh, my two shapes. So sometimes using reference geometry, especially if you, you don't have a face that, is, that can be used with the profile mate. Maybe you have a very irregular shape that the profile mate won't accept. You could include instead a, a reference sketch and use that to center about another piece of geometry. And once again, you'll see here that I can once again add an offset and flip the direction. You'll also notice that I can also, because we have a circular profile, we also have the option to lock the rotation. So I hit, if I hit OK, once again, both of our parts are centered between each other, but I can still spin it. So if I go back into my mate, you'll see that I can actually lock that rotation. That way, our hexagon shape has no degrees of freedom and is fully defined. So, so far, we've gone ahead and selected faces with our profile center mate. We've also selected a reference sketch. Uh, the last method I'm going to show you for your mate selections is you can actually pick model edge geometry. So I'll go ahead and undo my profile mate that I just created. And this time, I'll go ahead and activate my mate. I'll go into, I'll select my profile center mate. And for my mate selections, instead of picking a sketch or a face, I'm actually going to pick edge geometry. You'll see that in blue, it actually highlights all the tangent edges. In this case, I do not want those tangent edges. I actually want the edges that make up uh, the top face of my hexagon. So here I can hit this little yellow arrow and you'll see that it will change my selection. And next, I'm going to go ahead and select this circular edge. And just like that, you can see that our components have been centered about each other. Now, because I selected the top edge geometry, it's actually buried within the square part. So maybe I can add a slight offset so you can actually see it. 
Then I'll go ahead and flip the dimension. And I'll lock the rotation and select OK. And just like that, my component is fully defined. Uh, I only had to create one mate. Uh, opposed to typically if I want to do this similar process, I would have to add uh, a distance mate and probably or probably two to three distance mates uh, instead of one single profile center mate. So that is how you use the profile center mate to improve productivity and speed up your workflow. This has been Alejandro with GSE. Thank you for watching.